so uh, in this lesson basically we will learn how the control valve is depicted in various engineering drawing and what are the various engineering drawing uh, related to the control valve and uh, what is the symbol that is used to denote a control valve and how to denote a ball valve how to denote a gate valve how to denote a globe valve and what are the some good engineering practice uh, related to the uh, placing the control valve in the uh, pipeline and uh, what is the straight run that is being required and uh, what is the significance of the installing the control valve whether the bypass is required or not all these things we will try to cover in this particular lesson so a pipe piping and instrumentation diagram is obviously one of the most um, critical and important document in the case of uh, any process plant so uh, in this particular document uh, the relationship of piping valves pipe sizes sample points and instrumentation is shown quite extensively a moderate uh, level of mechanical detail is also provided for process equipment so that the piping and instrumentation can be precisely documented international symbol standards are used for piping equipment and instrument which is based on isa 1992 now this is uh, the way that control valve is being depicted in a uh, pnid so uh, see here actually the this one this is actually the control valve this is the control valve basically this is the actuator and this is the valve there is various type of valve in this case a particular type of valve is being shown what type of valve is it we will learn in the next slide uh, but notice that uh, here the uh, there is two reducer there is one reducer and there is one expander so uh, obviously uh, this clarifies that uh, the control valve size is less than the pipe size that's why this reducer or expander are required this is normal practice or good engineering practice that control valve size should be always lesser than the pipe size uh, but not less than uh, half of the pipe size so this is a basically a thumb rule and there you can see that there are two valves there is two isolation valve this is an one valve and this is one valve this is basically to isolate the control valve from the process and take it to the maintenance because uh, the control valve uh, uh, needs maintenance and it needs to be sent to the workshop so how you will send it to workshop for this you need to close this valve you need to close this valve you need to close this valve and you need to open this valve so that the flow will directly flow through this path and you can take out the control valve for maintenance and there are two LPDs there is a low point drain is one is here and one is here so that whatever gets accumulated in the line can be drained if required Now there are various type of valve symbol that is being used like this is for gate valve, this is for globe valve, this is for butterfly, this is for plug valve. So these type of symbols are uh, used. You need to know these type of symbols and uh, so that you can clearly understand the PN. And another important thing regarding the control valve is its fail position. Some control valves are fail open. That means whenever there is a failure of power failure of power in terms of the true AC power I am saying that is either the 24 volt power or 109 volt power whatever power is being used for energizing that valve that is power and second is air so a loss of any of these two will cause the valve to open so valve is normally closed this this valve will open fail open so if the power supply goes or air supply goes this valve will open again in this case you can see that this is another valve the symbol is shown here if the power supply or air goes the valve will close and the third is fail lock 
fail lock means it will remain at the same position before the power or air has gone suppose the valve is, is in position at 30 percent now suddenly air supply goes so valve will remain at 30 percent and it will not change its position this is known as fail lock valve now the control loop representation as you know that this is the basic closed loop control here you can see this is a control valve and the control valve there is an actuator and actuator is getting command from a controller well, actuator is getting command from a controller and the controller has basically two input one is the process signal that is a flow, flow signal that is coming from the AT and this is basically the PV and another is the operator set point this is known as the MB and uh, the error is basically PB minus SB and whatever the error is uh, the error uh, gets passed on to the controller this error is passed on to the PID controller and PID controller basically generates MB basically generates MB and this MB is uh, in terms of uh, 4 to 20 milliamps now it goes to the i2p transducer where this 4 to 20 milliamp pair gets converted to 3 to 15 psi and uh, this pneumatic signal is then applied to the control valve and uh, according to the uh, pressure the valve gets positioned itself So uh, now we will discuss about some general good engineering practice. Control valve size is generally made smaller than the corresponding line size. This change in diameter should be clearly indicated as a PNID with a reducer and expander. Provide manual block and bypass valve around the control valve so that the control valve can be taken for maintenance. But in some cases the bypass uh, is not possible. Uh, like very critical service or uh, uh, in some cases where there is a chance of choking or slurry material is, is being used in uh, some uh, specific cases the bypass is not being provided for the uh, process point of view or process uh, constraint in that case there should be hand wheel the valve should be equipped with hand wheel so that yes, if the valve gets stuck uh, it can be opened or closed using the hand wheel. Second is the drain valve. Third is basically the drain valve is normally always provided between the control valve and uh, the upstream isolation valve. And the, if the control valve is fail open type, this drain valve is sufficient to drain the uh, piping segment. If the, in the control valve is of fail close or in failing position type, then additional drain valve is required between the control valve and downstream isolating valve. Additional details such as for failure position, tightness class and uh, rating etc. are also indicated on the PNID for control valves as per the project standard. And now the fifth point in connection, threaded inserts uh, cheap but uh, can be stripped and leak use this where uh, this is not a worry welded ends uh, provide no leaks and are cheap initially but if there are problems must must be cut out flange uh, flange ends are the most expensive uh, but are the most uh, common uh, type from the installation and Locate the control valves at grade where practical. Install the control valve near the operating equipment that has to be observed while in local manual control. Equipment must be located so that uh, they do not interfere with each other and so the space is available for people to travel through the process and perform tasks such as maintenance. So these are the just few points and uh, that can be looked up in the, at the design stage and uh, they are very common points so as you uh, as you handle more and more control valve you will slowly understand the, uh, these points so hope you like this particular video